Yo guys, Code Life here. So in today's video guys, I may have some good news for all of you out there about the old patch notes potentially returning to Fortnite Battle Royale. That's right guys, the old patch notes that all of us remember, all of us used to love. Yes, I'm talking about the old ones where Fortnite would literally go into every single detail, every single statistic, and much, much more about all the changes made to the game itself. Yes, those patch notes right there guys, the old God tier ones, those could actually be making a return to the game and it's all because of the Apple v Epic Games lawsuit. For real guys, I know that that may come as a surprise to most of you out there, but seriously, the reason why the old patch notes could be making a return to Fortnite is legit because Apple, yes the company that owns the iPads, the iPhones, they want them back. I know that that sounds like I'm joking, but I swear down I'm not. As it happens, apparently that's one of the reasons why Apple decided to remove Fortnite from the App Store. I myself guys, I'm not gonna lie, I always thought it was because Epic Games added that direct payment thing. You guys know what I'm talking about, where like they kept the 30% or something like that. But no, that wasn't the case at all, as, as it happens guys, according to this email on screen, which this is a legal, fully like real authentic email between Apple and Epic Games. According to this email right here though on screen, Apple stated that because they they did remove the patch notes, like the old ones where they would go into so much detail. That, according to them, was an App Store guideline violation, and that's why they removed Fortnite from the App Store. As you can see here, they say that Fortnite essentially failed in providing the players, aka the users of the app, like players of Fortnite, with the information about what is new to the game. Which this right here pretty much translates into them talking about the patch notes. Or, sorry, rather lack of patch notes. So yeah, because of that right there, Apple did remove Fortnite from the App Store. And then under that little segment right there, Apple then state that Epic Games themselves can resolve slash fix this violation by revising what's been changed on the app itself. Which what this essentially means is all Fortnite really need to do guys is add patch notes to the game and actually tell everyone what's changed in Fortnite. Now I'm not sure if Fortnite did that, it would sort of magically resolve this whole situation. There's probably a lot more to it. But that right there guys, as you can see, that is one of the reasons. And I do find it quite funny how Apple, they want patch notes just like like we do but yeah i really do hope that fortnite do add the old patch notes into the game is i do really miss um finding out what's changed seeing all the statistics and stuff like that like i do really miss it even though i do really like um sort of figuring out myself what's changed and what's new and um, because there is no patch notes right now that is quite fun but i don't know there was just something about seeing all the changes and having every single detail change and whatever all laid out in front of me there's something I really do miss about that. So if they did sort of bring them back because of this lawsuit right here, guys, I would be pretty happy about it. I'd love to know what you guys think about this. What are your thoughts on it? Could you see them adding back patch notes from this right here or could you not? I'd love to know in the comment section below. And yeah, that's all from me today, guys. I hope to catch you all in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. Peace.